This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. to kind of show you this preset because I'm having incredible amounts of fun with it. Leave a comment if you want me to drop it into the folder, I'll be happy to do that. This will be in the expression folder. If you haven't got that, uh, then send me an email or something, I'll probably send it to you. Um, but what we got going on here, so first of all, we got the derailed Ingrid, which is based on one real life amp called Ingrid, built by Ken Fisher. And uh, there's, video or two that I've done on this. I've got the drive here at 2.8 but with the flick of this switch it goes up to 8.4, bass at 6.1, mids at 5.1, treble at 4.3, presence at 4.8, channel volume 8.8, .8, master at 9, sag at 5, etc. All that stuff not touched, no bright switch. Then I'm using the 4x12 Cali V30, the 160 ribbon three inches away and here you'll see high cut goes between off and 2.1. I might actually set that to go between 8 and so it should be 8 kilohertz by default. Let's just save that. Um, so that's what's going on on the one hand. So what you get is this. And if I press this we can freeze um, and press that again to get rid of that freeze. So what's going on there? We've got a split Y, we've got an auto volume echo Going into a volume pedal, that position is controlled by this switch here. So you see FS1, latch, 100% min, max 100%. Then that goes into a dual delay um, and likewise the feedback settings. What is going on down there? Anyway, sorry. Uh, so the, the feedback settings, the left feedback, right feedback, left mix, right mix, are all controlled by foot switch one and they all go from 15% to 100. Then we've got a tape eater here, which is a modulation just to give a bit of movement, plus six dB. And then this B level here is also controlled by this foot switch, right? So you see there's kind of two settings, uh, minus 60 and minus seven. So that's how we're doing the freeze element. And I've done a video on that.
Anyway, tape heater there for a bit more lo-fi. Then at the end, I've got a 6.2 decay on a glitz and these settings, I might turn those up a bit. Let's just experiment with this. So we get a bit of... And then I've been messing around with the Yamaha Magic Stomp and it's really kind of given me a little bit of inspiration. Uh, I think what's really cool about it is that you're literally dealing with a unit in the Magic Stomp or the UD Stomp, which Alan, it kind of has his DNA in it, right? Because it's actual presets that this guy made. And, you know, if you care about Alan Holdsworth and dig his playing and dig his sounds, then that's kind of a cool thing. But I was looking at the settings for a couple of his things. There's a, um, a Yamaha download called UD Stomp um, Patch List. And in that, I was looking at the Stereo Enhanced Lead Solo Patch 1. And there's eight taps. That was kind of the, the key thing to the UD Stomp and the Magic Stomp, which runs UD Stomp kind of patches. And so I took the first four and kind of looked at what they are doing and kind of applied it to the multi-tap four. And I've got it set as a favorite now that I can come back to. So we've got zero feedback, zero diffusion, time is set to one second. No low cut, no high cut. This mix you can experiment with. I've got it a bit higher here to pronounce the effect a bit more. I've got time one, 3%, time one pan left, and the time one level, or tap one, sorry, that should be tap one, scale is 3%. Tap one pan is left, tap one level is 10. Tap two goes fully right and is 4%, so a little bit later. And then tap three is 9%, and goes to the left 50 at level four. And then tap four, 11%, goes to the right 50 at level four. And what this does, if you listen to with and without, is a really... In a way, it kind of throws things stereo, but it also is sort of masking some of the attack of the guitar because it's um, kind of throwing things stereo and just smearing things a bit. So what I was enjoying doing there was... it ...on the lead sound and... So give that a try. Um, as I say, you could experiment with moving that mix parameter and blending that to your taste. But it was just a preset that I was finding. Well, that's, you know, super enjoyable. This is the sort of thing that I stumble across fairly often with this piece of gear. That's what I find so kind of inspiring about it. It's not an expensive piece of gear. It's quite special to me. I think it's attainable for a lot of people, but as well as that, it's able to do lots of incredible things that really make me want to play the guitar. So that's Freeze AH 
Omen Terry. If you want to try that, I'll drop that into the folder, leave a comment below. And I was just really enjoying those tones. Cheers.